Hello everyone, T-Man978. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the self-proclaimed king of the road, Motormaster. Part of the Transformers Legacy line. He is a commander class. T-Man978, chill review. Okay, here's the packaging. Big box with no window. I got this figure from Amazon. As you can see right here, he is capable of becoming... Motormaster, like a powered down Motormaster without the con without the Stunticons, I should say. Sorry. Uh, here's this stuff right here. Yeah. Here's this stuff they always put on there. Here's the top. Here's the bottom. Here is the barcode. Let me zoom in on that just in case you might find this useful. Let me just point this out. Right here it says drag strip is sold separately subject to availability I would say right now if you want the full complete five set of Minasaur get get drag strip right now go to the store or go order online because you never know if they'll replenish he was part of wave one and once wave two starts kicking in there's a chance we might not see him again and that's how you spread FOMO everybody any old who when you first open the package it's gonna feel very empty this is literally all you're gonna pull out of that package it's not strapped in or anything it's just fully protected by a bunch of folded up cardboard like the box had no excuse to be as big as it is because let me bring it back hold on this is literally how much space this thing takes up in the packaging. They could have cut that in half, but they wanted to seem like, oh, it's a commander class. Let's make that packaging bigger. It is full on empty. No extras, no bat blast effects, no extra guns. Everything is inside of this trailer. As a result, this trailer is quite heavy because they did not cheap out on the plastic in my opinion as far as everything's in there that it, it feels like good plastic so don't worry about that but here's the rear of this here's this side looking at it like that here's this stuff with the trailer actually on you can rotate the cab like that and let's let you see the bottom Here's this stuff going on. Um, I forget who it, who it was, but I don't feel like going back to the chat history. Um, somebody had one of these yellowed out because apparently Hasbro's using some type of plastic that's yellow straight out the box. Luckily for me, I have not been getting that. The only time in recent history that I can think of that that happened to me is with the Cyberverse Deluxe Class RC. A lot of her pink was really, really peach colored. But naturally, this can come off. And when you do that, you should be able to pull this out. And there is like a natural stopping point. But it is very, it is not sturdy at all. You have to like carefully put that down or else that will happen. So... Carefully put that down, but I, I seriously doubt you're gonna have it like that. Anywho, here is Motormaster. Let me bring the lights over here. Without that stuff in the way, we can see his robot mode chest. They painted up here with this detail. They have this looking like that and that looking like this. With him being a tractor trailer, of course. One of his rivals in the cartoon was Optimus Prime because Optimus Prime is like the most famous tractor trailer. As you can see, Commander Class makes the cab a little bit bigger, <laughs> at least in truck mode. And the trailer is definitely a lot bigger. So, but they're about the same length. It seems like they try to make the trailer the same length for all these vehicles that have like some type of trailer. Because let's bring in Rodimus Prime. Actually, Rodimus Prime's trailer. I'm going to get Optimus out of here. 
Rodimus' trailer is a little bit longer. So oh, there's that, and he's longer, period. Um, Rodimus Prime is a commander class as well. No. But he doesn't become a big truck. He becomes like what people have been calling a space Winnebago. <laughs> Or a camper. Motormaster can pull Optimus Prime's trailer. Turn all the way around. But Optimus can't really do that in return. This pig is too far back. And with all this stuff in the way. Even if I didn't have this gun stored. It still couldn't reach there. But here's what it could look like. If you use imagination. It like there's a little section. Before you get to the end of the feet. That stops it from rolling off. But. It's not connected. But This is the trailer he could have had. If he was a commander class. But he wasn't. Here's where Motomaster looks like. Next to one of his Stunticons. I do not have. What his name is. I do not have Wild Rider yet. I kind of wish that. Motomaster. Came out. After all the other ones were released that would have made more sense to me but whatever they had to keep up the hype or maybe we're gonna get another commander class before the year ends or something like that and they wanted to get this one out there quickly the trailer does not open or anything so you can't like store a car in there regardless of the length if i'm gonna have any final thoughts on this i like this i like that this can turn all the way like that I like the cab of the vehicle mode. I don't need things to be 100% perfect and whatnot. I mean, this looks like a truck. Um, this, it doesn't look like a traditional <laughs> like trailer or whatever. But whatever. It looks like something specifically made for him. Um, this looks hella unfinished since it's not one color maybe it would have been better if that could have been painted in some type of way um, I don't know how that would have interfered when you actually get to the alternate modes and whatnot maybe that's why they didn't paint it but it does look unfinished and um yeah but everything else is cool I mean it feels good my only complaint about actual functionality is this like that should like lock in better if they're gonna have that as a feature but it, it's good I, i'm not gonna sit here and, and just super duper complain on it but transformation first thing we want to do is separate that now this sword is pegged in right here it might not be pegged in when you first open it but i'm gonna close this and i'm gonna go ahead up here lift this up and we should be able to Push, wait, mm. open this up, open that up. Now this can come out. But basically what we're gonna do here is bend that down, bend this straight down, bend this straight, and basically close all this and leave it like that. Put that to the side this thing right here we can bring that down bring this like this and that go ahead and rotate this around and leave it like this now this rear section we can detach that from here and go ahead and detach this and pull this part out you can go ahead and unfold this Pull this out to the side, pull that out to the side. And now we can bring this piece back in. But support that on top of there. And now we have like a gun cannon with a little radar dish or something. This, we can pull this forward. Bring this back like that. Pull this forward. Bring that down like that put them to the side and we can take this separate that 
and bend here bend here and now you can take this peg with the wheels like this they go into a peg hole right there peg that into there and there and, but we can flip it over so it can be like this now we take this foot right here with the peg plug that into there same thing I mean it depends on what you want to do because the pegs are the same size and now there are two slots let me try to zoom in on that two slots right there we can take these two pegs and slot them into there and boom we have a battle platform yay now for motor master himself it seems a lot more complex than it is but anyway you can lift up on this and pull that out lift up on this and pull that out the circular pegs right there I don't know if you can see it but they fit inside of this pinhole right there and now we can close that up close that up we can kind of loosen that off of there loosen that off of here kind of pull this out like that but before we can go any forward we may as well just separate the front so we can get a better grip on this that peg hole right there the peg goes into this on that hinge lift this hinge up and bring that down into there now we can stretch the knees out while bringing the legs down and shut the wheels in then we can bring this on the ankle pivot and rotate the foot around to bring that fake car cab I mean truck cab detail right there rotate that around down here we can fold these panels with the Decepticon symbol on it and shut this and over here we can rotate this and rotate down and shut that this and down shut that okay now up here we need to push up on this green canister I mean green purple canister I'm happy I realized I said that but rotate this and the arm down like that we can't just plug it into place now rotate this bring the arm out to the side do that and now we can start bending this and rotate this back here and there is a tab right here that goes into the back and right here is something I love you open that panel up bring the hand out shut the panel closing that leaving no gap thank you thank you Takara tell me thank you thank you thank you I've heard rumor what well, what wait wait here is motor master in robot mode he's a robot that's how I know when to stop the music but um I hear that a guy from the masterpiece t team is working on these mainline figures and I can see it because it has a lot of cool engineering like a lot of these figures have way more cool engineering now I think Motormaster looks good and he makes me think of what I should be thinking of when I see Motormaster this is the type of detail he had now in the original toy the whole guy transformed like the whole cab and trailer became one robot but here they decided to go with something different just to give you a better robot mode and didn't have to be clunky with a whole bunch of kibble plus he would have been really really tall he would have just been Minosaur which coincidentally he still can do but they care about scale now and they want him to scale with the other Voyager class size 
characters like Optimus Prime. But anywho, here's something I want to bring up. You see these big pins. Now, to make the transformation easier, you can keep these big pins right there, but in the back, you don't have those pins. So it might be more attractive to rotate this around so that the pins aren't in the front. Let me do that again. Like, it literally changes nothing as far as posability. But why did this come up? But as far as the aesthetic, you don't have those giant pins there. But if you do do that, you have to remember that you need to reverse that for the transformation. That gives you a whole extra transformation step if you want them to look like that. Uh, with this battle platform, he can stand right here. Grab these handles. And let me take this out of his hand. And you can rotate that around. Let me get the camera up too. <laughs> rotate that around and shoot folks. So that's cool. I mean, this is commander class. You either get a giant robot like Jetfire or you get a Voyager class size robot that has a big battle platform or yeah battle platform because Rodimus has a battle platform but yeah um if I have any aesthetic complaints about all this that gun definitely needs some detail it's just plain smooth let me detach it plain smooth plastic it needed definitely some details in there they're helping toy hacks make labels for these things now, it seems like. You know what's cool, and I don't think this is actually in the instructions. The end of this gun has like a stand port size peg. If we were to rotate this and plug the gun right there, Motormaster actually has several. He has multiple plug options. He has a stand port size peg right there, a 5mm peg, a stand port size peg right there, and another 5mm peg. But you could just attach this to his back. Now you have a makeshift flight stand right there. Before I keep goofing off, here he is. He's holding his sword, his only real weapon he can use. I mean, you can make him hold the, that gun, that cannon right there with the two hands like I was showing. But it is definitely too big for him. Come on. Here's another spin around on what he looks like. He looks great. Um, disappointing things. Let's get into the articulation. The head basically just, it just rotates. Just rotates. It has a bend in the back like... You could see how they were thinking about making it look up, but it, it it doesn't look up. The arm is on a hinge, so it can go out like that. It can swivel. If you break this transformation joint, you can go up even more higher like that, or more high like that. Swivel right here. It bends 90 degrees, and you do get wrist rotation. You get a waist. No ab crunch or anything can kick forward kick all the way back kick all the way out to the side you have double jointed knees and when a character has double jointed knees like this I've said this several 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 times it's important that they can look up for these poses because what if I want them to look up at whatever he's going for and then you have ankle pivot and you get slight rotation right there. The foot does not rock forward. But you can break this hinge for whatever that's worth because of transformation. But here is this detail right there. Which if all of this wasn't in the way, you could see that more of that. And that's definitely cartoon accurate detail. But besides that head, it is pretty good articulation especially for a retail transformer. 
If being greedy, I would definitely want elbows that bend more than 90 degrees. Of course, I want a head that can look up. And that, that would have been good for me. Um, I do wish that he came with a rifle or some or of some sort for himself in this mode. Now, I do realize that I have several other guns and I can just give him a gun. But with Commander Class price i would have liked that it's not it didn't come with any extra stuff like blast effects so an extra gun would have been nice and then when i get to his secondary mode it would have been nice if he had a bigger sword like this one is cool for this body but it, imagine how small it's gonna be so yeah let me get to the comparisons and then get to all that i should probably show a close-up on his face I mean, I showed the head and whatnot, but yeah, there's his face. It looks good. Here he is with another Stunticon. Here are some other figures you've seen on my channel. Except him. Here's this. Here's this. And here's this. If I have to have an opinion on both of these, Rodimus Prime seems a lot more substantial. <laughs> Like, he has a complex transformation and just transforming him just for this comparison. It just feels like a lot more is going on. I mean, there is more to this guy because he has a secondary transformation. But it's not as major as this. But yeah, they're both good though. Other than the things that I already mentioned, I like him. He looks good. I like him. And I like the little base that you can make that he can he can stand on and work with so that's cool all right now it's time to go to his power down combiner mode i'm gonna take that sword out of the hand because you don't need it open this panel put the hand inside shut it same deal over here now that is kind of tough I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but um uh, yeah let's rotate the waist now before we forget before I forget anyway and we can take this off the back and basically bring it down like that we can open this panel rock this head up and then out right here or no leave it up like this so we can shove that head in and do that and bring this back down we can now lift these horns up and they do click three times. And now we can bring these arms like this. I'm gonna lift that up, lift that up, rotate it so that the elbow bends down. And then we can detach this right here. There are pegs that are on the back of the truck cab but that you're wondering what the heck are they for they go into these holes in the back of his wrist so aim the arm down like that open this one up and do the same thing over here all right all right now with the legs point the knees inward open this panel up right here shove the thigh kind of in there until you can't get it in there no more shut this panel over it same deal over here open that up bring that inward shut that door and now sound wave style we take this tab right here and put it into that slot right there which may take a few tries or it might go in there right away. So, yeah. And now we take these and port them back to where they would be in the truck mode. So if you see this, this is Hasbro and Takara told me just taking third party methods <laughs> of doing combiners and and just just using it themselves because they can now we can take 
this part of the front of his foot and tab it right there in that slot right here. They keep pretending that these things are for, for kids, but they keep making these things in such a way that us adult collectors love. But here we are with this part, it's done. We can set that off to the side. Separate this, lift that up so it can be like a knee or something. Lift that up, that's done. We can take this whole thing off, put that to the side. Flip this around, remove this, remove that, and you can at this point basically see this joint, it needs to hinge so that that's out that way, and we need to bend this this way and hinge it that way. But bring this fist out and shut the wheels down. And now these can fold out and then the bottom one can fold up. So fold that down, the bottom one folds up. And now we have his left arm. Same deal over here. I'm going, it was already bent like this. I'm basically just gonna move things out that way. And then we're gonna bend this and move things out that way. I think this wheel was holding that in place so I bent the wheel out. That didn't affect the other side. But we can shut this and shut that. And now this needs to bend this way and bend that. Bend this this way and bend that. And now we have his right arm. We can now at this point, and I'm hoping this is the right side. I don't know what side this axle peg hole is supposed to wait let, let me try to right. yeah this is actually the left leg so that answers that this we can bring this down rotate this around because this is the front of the crotch we can slide this on they slide on combiner war style that's actually apparently the same size as combiner wars and they're compatible. I don't know why they thought that was important. Now up here, there are two big ports. We got these two big pegs. We can slide that in there. And to securely secure it, we can shut this purple thing. And you're thinking, oh, how is that secure? But it's secure. It takes some effort to unlatch that. And now we can shift this up. Just that up and then we can take the arm and slide it onto there till you hear a click basically he's Minasaur without the stunticons but you need the stunticons to finish the look and they definitely try to make sure that it does not look like a full robot without the stunticons because you need the two leg bots to make this shut so basically he is a skeleton but while he's here looking like this i can give you a rundown of everything so here's what it looks like incomplete and yes i'll bring drag strip in and show off that feature but the head rotates on a swivel. If you want, you can detach the joint to make it look up and it's so dark and black, you might not be able to see that depending on the camera angle if you have them flying or something. But you see that face and it looks awesome to me. But the shoulders go out right there all the way unhindered. Everything's basically on a ratchet, you hear that? You can bend this, swivel that, the wrist rotates, even the wrist is on the ratchet, that's nuts. This will kind of detach, but I guess you could use that as articulation. You can do that. Now let's make sure the legs are out the way, but you got a soft ratchet there. 
a harder ratchet here. And these joints are tight. A hard ratchet here, even though it sounds soft, this hard. And uh, I'll, I'll talk about that. You get this joint right there. I guess if you go too far, it bends right here. So that wouldn't be too stable, to be honest. And while these doors are open, you can still have this feature. But if they were to be shut, the foot wouldn't rotate up that much, to be honest. It goes up a little bit, but not a lot. But that's good articulation for this combiner once we get the full combiner. And if you want to have a wow, that's cool moment, if you hit, once you detach this from its base mode and you put things back together like this, we can go ahead now and bring the fist down and fold these panels down like this. And if you have drag strip, these pegs right here line up with them. So get everything plugged into place top and bottom and it like fits securely once you do that I'll, a mechanism happens that unlocks the body and then we can go ahead and transform it the same way we transformed it for the combiner mode earlier and now that's on there so that's really cool that they added an aha moment like that 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 toyetic type situation where they try to up the fun factor but that's cool if you watch the cartoon this guy combined several different ways some points the cars would completely be the arms and you would have the fist hanging out the bottom of the car other times he was wearing the car parts on the side of his arm like that and then other times, the cars were just straight up cars hanging off. They were like hanging off the shoulders and the forearm moved freely. Whoever was animating that day, they decided how things worked. So it was all over the place. But I really like this. And you know what? Last things I guess I need to show off. Because you do have this right here. You can port that into the hand and now he has a gun and this is what I was complaining about earlier you can give him that and he has a sword I wish they would have gave him a separate bigger sword and this gun just looks I mean, it's, it's good enough, but just no detail right there. It just looks plain. It's like they're in cahoots with toy hacks, and they aren't telling us. <laughs> You're going to have to go out and get some sticker detail if you want detail on the weapons. But this is basically nothing unless you can connect this gun back on it, and he holds it like a little flying cannon. But I like him. I like it. I can't wait for the other figures. He yeah, honestly ended this video without complaining about this, but here we go. This, this has been the bane of my existence since Combine Wars. I don't like this. It's like you can just so easily just pull this off. Like it's designed to the point where you should be, you should be lifting that up and then pulling this off. But look how deep that is. It's not deep at all. You can still see fingernail. I just wish that this should be more recessed up in there. And this latch or this, this hatch, this door, should come down further and cover more of the back of that to completely lock it into place. Why? I don't... Uh, now, I know they got to make crap easy for kids, but screw kids. These aren't made for kids. L let's stop lying to each other. <laughs> this guy, this is a, like, 
eighty-five dollar toy. No, it's it's not made for kids. I don't give a crap what you say. This should have come down further, and you should have to push it all the way up to unlatch it. But yeah, so it this thing stays together, has tight joints, and stays together like well enough. But when you're manipulating the legs, you will sometimes encounter pulling the pieces off. But when you get it into the pose. You don't have to worry about like what you had to worry about with Combiner Wars where it's just falling over because the joints are actually tight. It's not relying on the strength of deluxe class ratchets. Normally I would do a reverse transformation, but this video is already long enough. I know it is with all the different transformations I had to do. So if I do anything, it's, it's, it's going to be a separate video. Thank you all for watching this. Until next time, T-Man978, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these.